to Little Village for the last instalment of Super Kids. I want to see all of your Super Kid moves, okay? So on the count of three, I want you to show me your Super Kid moves. One, two, three. Brilliant. You guys really are Super Kids and we love our time with each and every one of you. Now, last week we thought about how we could be brave and to help somebody. So I was wondering, have any of you been brave and helped somebody this week? Pause the video here and share a time when you were brave this week and particularly if it meant helping somebody. Brilliant job, Little Villagers. Helping people is so important. God loves us and he wants us to love and help other people around us. But sometimes that's not easy. Sometimes stuff happens and we don't know what to do. And that's okay. Remember, God can help us to be brave even when we don't know what to do or what's going to happen. When I ask who can help you be brave, I want you to shout back as loudly as possible, God helps me be brave. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Who can help you be brave? Yeah, God helps you, me and everybody to be brave. Now, I think given it's our last week looking at this, you can say it a little bit louder than just that. So let's try that one more time. Ready? One, two, three. Who can help you be brave? Wowzers, that was loud, that was very good. Yeah, God can help you, me, everybody be brave. Our memory verse for this month tells us just that. So let's head straight over to Luis the Handyman to do the actions together. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord your God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Great job. I love that memory verse because my children and I say it when we're worried or nervous about things to remind us that we're not alone and that God can help us to be brave. Brave even if we don't know what's going to happen next. Now, we've looked at a lot of brave people in the Bible. We've looked at Daniel in the lion's den, David and Goliath, Rahab and the spies, and last week we looked at Queen Esther and King Xerxes. And this week we're going to look at a very special sister. Now hands up if you're a sister here. Yeah, there's quite a lot of us. Hands up if you're a brother. Yeah, well being a brother or a sister, it's really special, right? Sometimes being a good brother or sister means being brave. So let's head to the clubhouse and to Ollie to hear about a woman called Miriam and all the ways she was brave. Who? Who? Know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder And today, we have been putting stars all around the clubhouse. Each star represents something brave we've done. Come, look at this. This one is when Luca learned to tie a shoe. And this one is when Peyton went down a really big slide. And that one reminds me of when I ordered my own food at a restaurant. I love that we've hung up all these stars. Who? Who? It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. Hanging stars in the clubhouse, are you? I am, Ollie. All these stars can remind me that I can be brave. Yes, being brave is something we can do. I know someone who did many brave things, too. Listen up. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through. That should do it. 
<laughs> oh, hola, friends. I'm Luis, the handyman. I was just making sure these roller skates were ready to go. <laughs> My friend Justin is borrowing them to go roller skating for the first time. Oof. I know he's nervous, but he told me I can do brave things. And I know he can. Hey, that reminds me of someone who did brave things. She's in today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Hammers out, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible is about a woman named Miriam. The Bible teaches us that Miriam was sent by God to help his people. Miriam knew that God was with her and that made her strong and courageous so she could do brave things. When Miriam was a young girl, she had a baby brother named Moses. To keep Moses safe, her mother had to hide him. Miriam's mother put baby Moses in a basket and placed him in the tall grass by the river. Then Miriam was brave and stayed to watch her baby brother. When a princess came to the water and saw baby Moses, God helped Miriam be brave so she could talk to the princess and help keep her baby brother safe for a long time. <sighs> that was a brave thing. <laughs> Another time Miriam was brave was when she and her brother Moses were grown-ups. Miriam helped her brother Moses lead God's people, the Israelites. One big job God gave Miriam was being a prophet. A prophet is someone who delivers messages from God. God helped Miriam be brave and talk to all those people. That was a brave thing. Another way God helped Miriam be brave was when she led God's people in singing and dancing to praise God. She shook her tambourine and sang, Sing to the Lord! Woo! <laughs> Let's shake our pretend tambourines like Miriam! Woo! <laughs> now say, Sing to the Lord! Ready? Sing to the Lord! One more time! Sing to the Lord! Woo -hoo! Great job! <laughs> God helped Miriam be brave and lead all the people to sing and praise God. <laughs> that was a brave thing. God helped Miriam to do so many brave things. Miriam certainly was strong and courageous. She knew God was with her, and that helped her be brave. God can help you be brave too. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who can help you be brave? God can help me be brave. That's the truth, friends. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. Miriam did brave things, and you can do brave things too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, God helped Miriam do so many brave things, and God can help me do brave things too. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm gonna need a lot more stars, because God can help me be brave every day. I'll see you next time. Bye!
God can help us do brave things. Miriam knew God was with her and so she was able to be brave when her brother was put into the river. She was also brave and told all those people messages from God. And she was brave in singing and dancing to God. Let's be brave just like Miriam and get on our feet to sing and dance and praise God for who he is and how we can be brave because nothing is too much for him. So let's get up and let's do some dancing. Fantastic job, little villagers. What a great way to end our Super Kids series. Remember, you can be brave because God is with you. As you go back to nursery this week, as you go back into school, God is with you and you can be brave. Let's pray together. Remember, prayer is just talking to God and that you can do this at any time. You can always pray and ask God to show you that he's with you and ask him to help you to be brave. So let's talk to him together now. God, you are strong and powerful and loving and good. Help us this week to be brave and do brave things like Miriam. Wherever we are, whatever we face, God, remind us that you are with us and that you can make us brave. Thank you for always helping us because you love us. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, that's it for us this morning, but we'll see you next week for the first in our brand new series, drum roll please, it's called Parade of Thanks, where we're going to be taking a look at how when we say thank you, particularly to God, it makes things better. So I'll see you next week where we'll start thinking about all the things that we can say thank you for. Perhaps next week it might be fireworks. Oh.